Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this result. So here we have two matrix spaces N D and X D dash. So N is a set of natural numbers and D is a usual distance defined on N. Get it? And X D dash is any matrix space. Then we have to prove that any function from N to X is continuous. So let us start with the given information. We have we have a matrix space N D where D is the usual distance. Okay, so definition of usual distance is D of x y is equal to mod x minus y, right? So before proving this result, we are going to prove one very important thing. That is, we are going to prove every subset of N D is an open set. So let us consider this claim. So my claim is every subset of N D is an open set. So I'm going to consider one subset of N D. Let A subset of N. Here we have to prove A is an open set. That means how to prove any set is open. We have to take any arbitrary point. Getting so let me show here. So the picture will be clear to you. So this time we have set of natural numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So if you take any point, we should find a ball around it which entirely lies inside set A. Then we can say A is an open set. So we have taken any uh, arbitrary subset A of N. So now we have to prove A is an open set. So let us take A belongs to capital A, B any arbitrary point. Getting? Now we have to find a ball around A which is a subset of A. So let us consider a ball. Consider a ball with center A and radius half. So what will I do? I will simply follow the definition of open ball and let us see what will be this open ball. Getting? So X belongs to the matrix space N. Getting? So it is a collection of all natural numbers which will satisfy this condition x a less than that radius. So the radius is half. So this is equal to x belongs to set of natural numbers such that see here d is a usual distance. So it is defined in this way mod x minus a less than half. Right. So we are familiar with one result that is mod a less than b if and only if minus b less than a less than b. So this result is applicable here. At a place of B, we have half and at a place of A, we have X minus A. So let us use that result here. So this is equal to X belongs to set of natural numbers such that minus half less than X minus A less than half. So we have some space let us use. Okay. So to make it more simple, what will I do? I will add uh, A in all sides. So this is equal to x belongs to set of natural number. I am adding a in all sides. So here we will have a minus half. If you add a here plus a minus a will get cancelled. You will have x. And if you add a here, we will have a plus half. That means uh, we are collecting natural numbers which will satisfy this condition. That means which will lie inside this interval a minus 1 by 2 and a plus 1 by 2. So let me show in a diagram, suppose such natural numbers we have, getting natural numbers, A is one of them, A is a natural number, getting. So A minus half will be somewhere here, A minus half and A plus half will be somewhere here, A plus half. So we are collecting natural numbers which will lie in this interval. So the same thing we can write in this way, we want a natural number, so that's why I'm writing an intersection, A minus 1 by 2, A plus 1 by 2. So if you have natural number A, so in this interval, A is the only natural number. Okay. So therefore the intersection is singleton A. So in this interval, you can easily see the previous natural number is A minus 1 and the next natural number is A plus 1. So no any natural number other than A lies in this interval. So the intersection is obviously singleton A. So you remember we started with what? We started with A belongs to capital A. So therefore, we can easily say the singleton set A is subset of A. 
But just now we proved that singleton set A is nothing but this ball with center A radius half. So therefore a ball with center A radius half is subset of A. So we have taken any arbitrary subset of N and we chose any arbitrary point A. And finally we got a ball around it which entirely lies inside A. So therefore we can declare A is an open subset of N. See uh, we want some more space to write. Just wait for it. So let us continue then. So therefore what can we write? Therefore, so the definition of open set is satisfied. Therefore, A is open in ND. But see, A is any arbitrary subset of N. So therefore, we can declare every subset of ND. Therefore, every subset of ND is an open set. Is an open set. So in this way we proved our claim getting we have proved our claim. So let us come back to the main result. So we have to prove this one. So ND matrix space we have with a DG usual distance and X D dash is any arbitrary matrix space and F is also any function defined from ND to X D dash and we have to prove F is continuous. So let me mention now to prove that now to prove that F from ND to x d dash is a continuous function okay so make a screenshot of it then we will go further so now let me draw the diagram so the picture will be clear to you so we have domain n set of natural numbers 1 2 3 4 and so on and the second uh, codomain is a matrix space x d dash f is a function from n to this is n d with usual distance to x d dash we have to prove the function f is uh, continuous on this n so there are several ways to prove the function f is continuous we have epsilon delta definition we have sequential criteria but see one more result we have if you have any open set g which is subset of x then its inverse image f inverse g is also open then we can say the function f is continuous so actually we are going to use this result to prove function f is continuous so let, for that we need to have any open subset of x d dash so let us take let g subset of x be open in x d dash so g is a subset of codomain so if you take its inverse image obviously it is subset of n getting but just now we have proved every subset of nd is open and this is also a subset of n. So therefore, we can say it is an open set. So implies f inverse g is open in nd. So we can say by our claim. So by claim, we can say f inverse g is open subset of nd. So we had taken any arbitrary open subset of codomain and we proved its inverse image is also open in domain. So therefore, by definition of continuous function, we can say f is continuous. So therefore, f from nd to x d dash is a continuous function. Okay. So in this way, we completed this proof. So make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you.